Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Today, we delve into one of the most captivating and tragic events in history, the sinking of the Titanic. Join us as we explore the untold story behind the unsinkable ship. Let's dive in. In the early 20th century, the Titanic set sail on its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York City. It was hailed as the largest, most luxurious passenger liner of its time, a symbol of engineering marvel. The ship was believed to be unsinkable, but as history has taught us, no ship is truly invincible. On the night of April 14, 1912, disaster struck. The Titanic collided with an iceberg, ripping open its hull. The crew and passengers were unaware of the magnitude of the situation, as the unsinkable ship began its descent into the icy Atlantic waters. One of the most tragic aspects of this disaster was the shortage of lifeboats. The Titanic carried only enough for about half of its passengers. Panic and chaos ensued as people fought for a spot on the lifeboats. Additionally, the communication system failed to relay the seriousness of the situation to nearby ships, further worsening the chances of survival. Of the estimated 2,224 people on board the ship, approximately 1,500 individuals lost their lives in the disaster. Let's consider this drowning from the point of view of an oceanographer today. Where was the exact location of the sinking of the Titanic? During the night of the Titanic's sinking, how effective were the weather conditions and the ocean conditions? The exact coordinates of the collision were approximately 41.76 degrees north, 50.23 degrees west. This location is approximately 375 miles, 600 kilometers, south of Newfoundland. In the area of the accident, the water depth is approximately 3,784 meters, which is deep. As the Titanic sailed through the calm night, it eventually came face to face with an enormous iceberg. Due to the clear weather conditions, the iceberg was difficult to spot until it was too late. The ship's crew took evasive action, but the iceberg scraped along the side of the Titanic, causing severe damage to its hull. Following the collision, the weather conditions worsened. The freezing temperatures combined with strong winds, intensify the already dire situation. These harsh conditions made the evacuation and rescue efforts even more challenging for both the crew and the passengers. The weather added to the chaos and further endangered lives. The ocean waves at the time of the Titanic's sinking were a formidable force that contributed to the tragedy. The presence of powerful swells, the intensity of the waves near the iceberg collision, and the challenging conditions during the rescue efforts all played a role in shaping the events of that fateful night. Thus, it can be concluded that the weather and ocean phenomena had no significant influence on the sinking of the ship and that the main cause of the accident was the iceberg on the ship's course. In fact, the weather conditions and waves had effects on the drowning of passengers. For clarification, we must answer this critical question. Why was this iceberg situated in this location? If the iceberg has always been in this place, why has it not been noticed? Our belief is that the sinking was primarily caused by the existence of this iceberg, which was not widely known at that time. Icebergs are large masses of ice that float in the ocean. Icebergs are formed when chunks of ice break off from glaciers or ice shelves. During the winter of the same year, it was one of the hottest winters in the high latitudes and the Greenland region, which caused icebergs to form more and stronger than normal. Therefore, it was a little unpredictable. The exact dimensions of the iceberg that caused the sinking of the Titanic on April 15, 1912, are not known. Exactly, but it is believed that the iceberg was a massive one, with a height above the waterline ranging from 50 to 100 feet, 15 to 30 meters, and a length of about 200 to 400 feet, 60 to 120 meters. It is important to understand how it traveled hundreds of kilometers to reach this location. What do you think? Ocean currents in the Atlantic Ocean are the primary reason for this phenomenon. 
The North Atlantic is influenced by various ocean currents, including the Labrador Current and the Gulf Stream. These currents create a dynamic environment where icebergs can drift unpredictably. The Titanic's path intersected with a field of drifting ice, which ultimately led to the tragic collision. Because the Labrador Current flows towards the south, it is the main factor that determines the path of this iceberg. The Labrador Current, a cold ocean current that flows southward along the eastern coast of North America, plays a role in the transportation of icebergs. This current carries icebergs from Greenland's coast and directs them toward the Grand Banks of Newfoundland. It was likely within this region that the iceberg encountered by the Titanic originated. On average, the Labrador current typically flows at a speed of about 0.5 to 2 knots, 0.9 to 3.7 kilometers per hour. There are many lessons to be learned from this story. First and foremost, we should consider the effects of global warming since the main cause of the accident was the unusually warm winter at the time. A second important factor to consider is the ocean currents that can carry icebergs. The story of the Titanic continues to captivate our imagination, reminding us of the indomitable spirit of humanity and the consequences of overconfidence. As we reflect on this tragic event, let us remember the lives lost and the lessons learned. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.